hello everybody. So I see some people from San Francisco. Laura from Atlanta. Catherine um, does not want to tell us where she's from. Um, I'm going to give us uh, the a little bit of time. I can see the room is filling up. Thank you guys and mostly thank you hosts for coming over one more time to one of my webinars. And as always, I like to tell you a little disclaimer that this is not an Airbnb sponsored event. They do know that I do them. Uh, we've had Chip Conley on one of our webinars, which was really, really good. So you could go back to my site and look at that one. Um, but you know, so they know I exist, they know I'm here and they know I'm doing them, but they do, they are not um, sponsoring the event. This is all me and what I am giving you reference with my advice and what I'm going to be talking about it here. It's all coming from me and not from Airbnb. I'm actually going to be giving you information from different sites beyond Airbnb. Um, so I'm going to wait a little bit longer for attendees to show up since it's only 201 in our area. Um, so we have Oakland, uh, Blue Ridge Mountains, Susan. Oh, Ed from Miami. So we have, oh, look, Andrea's from New York City. Hello, um, Andrea, I'm right here in New York City as well. We have that nice heat going on. Um, so I want to know um, if you guys can start writing on the chat, how long have you been hosting? Um, and just put down like months or years and, you know, sort of have an idea how new are you, how experienced of a host you, you are. Um, it's always a, a great information. Hi, Ed from Miami and Kathy from Rochester, New York. I was there a uh, long, long time. Oh, Andrea, you'll be back in three minutes, okay? P Peter from London. Are you Peter, the Peter with the castle? Um, please let me know that everybody can hear me. So, yes, I can hear you. Uh, I'm going to type. Can you hear me? Um, oh, yeah, so we are getting, oh, you started hosting here, Marcus. Oh, hi, Marcus. One year this month, Laura, congratulations. Leah, six years. Um, Christy, you just started this year, loving it, seven years. Wendy, so, I mean, I guess you were like a newbie with Airbnb, or I can imagine you must have been hosting in others uh, with other places. Catherine from February this year and Kathleen six years. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going on my fifth year. I just made five years in May and I'm very happy. Uh, thank you, Christine, for telling me that you can hear me. So I'm glad um, we are, our technical gods are working with us. Um, um, I'm, uh, I will going to give you one more minute I'm going to start since we're filling up and I don't want to waste your time and I have so much information guys and ladies you have no idea I've been working on this presentation forever and a day um so this is me here in New York and sunny beautiful New York in Brooklyn and I just want to say that I'm really honored that you have decided to spend a little bit of time with me on this Friday afternoon um, I'm going to do another survey later on during the year because I keep changing dates of when the, I do the webinars and I don't know if Friday afternoons is a good time. I know sometimes weekends are good and, you know, I'm trying to figure out what is the best time for you guys as hosts to be participating. Um, oh, so I have one request. Rebecca Morgan. Oh, Rebecca, what's the request? I'm not sure what that means. So I've been hosting Silicon Valley scene for two years. Um, great, Rebecca. And so, yeah, so all of you guys have been doing this for a little while. There's some newbies in the group, which I'm always happy to, to have because we, everything that I like to teach, it's anybody can take it. Um, they're going, there's going to be some stuff that the older experienced guests and not older by age, but just experienced guests have, um, probably have a little bit of knowledge, but hopefully we'll have some new material for you guys. Um, so it's 204. Let's start the presentation. And I'm going to, this is something that I've been working for a little while for, for you. Um, so if everybody, present to everybody, here we go. 
All right, so this is perfecting your Airbnb listings. And after I started, um, after I started writing um, this presentation, I realized I could have probably spoke, I talked about one of the topics um, by itself, just because there's so much to talk about. And I'm going to be talking about specifically photography descriptions and headlines. Um, there's a lot more that we could talk about. And, you know, the, uh, some people came back and read it um, and they are telling me, you know, should I do like interior design and all this other stuff about perfecting your Airbnb listings. There's a lot, a lot of um, conversations that we could have about different things, but I really wanted to talk about the main stuff, which is photography description and headline. And, and I put it in this order for, for a reason, but I do want to let you know, the photography is the first thing your guests will see and will um, decide whether they want to look more and want to get more information uh, about your your listing. So um, let's go into photography first. So as you will know, Airbnb provides you with the free photography. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about what to shoot. We're going to talk about your first photo and how important it is. Hamburger versus hot dog, and you're going to get find out what that means. How many photos is too many photos? And captions. It's such an unused tool and it's really, really important. Okay. Oh my God, Ima, we have somebody from Havana, Cuba. Bienvenidos. Bienvenida, I think, Ima. I'm so happy that you're here. Uh, I'll tell my friend who's Cuban that, that you're here. Marcus, no, I'm, I am on Twitter, but I really don't use it. Um, I, I am talking, thinking about my social media and how I'm gonna ramp it up a little bit more. I am on Facebook, I have a Facebook page, and I do um, comment there a little bit more. So as you will know, and host, you, you all, I hope you all know this, that you could request free photography from Airbnb. Um, if you do not have free photography from Airbnb, and I don't know if they are already providing that in Cuba yet, please let me, uh, please say no, um, so like that, we, I know that you don't have it. Um, what it provides you, the free photography for Airbnb, I want to let you know this very clearly. You do not own those photos. They are um, Airbnb um, owned. You cannot use them in any other website or platform. You cannot use them in your advertising or on your website. They are Airbnbs. Um, and let's say, for example, if you want to use them on Flipkey or you want to use them on VRBO, you cannot use them, okay? So very clear, you don't own the photos. Airbnb owns those photos. They might be of your house, but Airbnb owns them, all right? But what this free photography, besides beautiful stuff, what it provides is more visibility, a verified watermark, and they're high quality. Um, in reference to more visibility, is Airbnb's algorithm will bring you up in the search if you have a verified watermark Airbnb photo. And what happens is their system, they have it where if you have verified photos, they bring you up in, um, in the searches, okay? Um, I, I imagine that in Rochester, Kathy, you're saying that, you don't, that it's not available in Rochester, so I imagine that that's not something that they do. But I do hope that at least you're reaching out to some photographers or something like that for you to get some photos. You could still do some photos with your iPhone or with your smartphone and, and take some good photos. Um, and I'm going to tell you some tips of what to do, all right? But your free photography, you could get it from Airbnb. You don't own the photos. You will get a higher search on your rankings. It will have a verified watermark. And mind you, the guests don't even know what a verified watermark means because they're not looking at that. Um, but they're, they're also higher quality, okay? So the steps for you to prepare your space for, for your photographs is declutter um, and clean. Clean the space like your mom is coming, right? Or your boyfriend or girlfriend or significant other parents is coming and you're showing it off. Clean it like that. Um, don't forget to clean the windows. Um, they do show a lot better um, cleaned and, and they provide a better um, lighting and all that other stuff. Get some ideas from magazines and Pinterest. Um, they're great sources for you to get inspiration about decoration, especially if you're not a decorator, if you don't have a, much of an interior design, and, and it will tell you what's going on. Um, some good ideas in reference of how to set up your bed and what to do, 
things like that. Turn on the lights, shoot during the day. But even if you're shooting during the day, um, no, now Christy is asking, do all your photos have to be urban? No, if you at least have one photo that's verified, um, because what happens is you would change your style and your paintings and your furniture, um, but keep at least one photo that is verified, it will still um, allow the, the ranking will go up. All right, so how many photos is too many photos? I have seen a few listings where you have 40 photos. Host, that's too many. 40 photos, people will stop after 20, and even 20 is a lot. A little less is more, um, yes, show the room that you are um, renting out and that you are promoting, that you're featuring. But do not overwhelm the people with gazillion photos. Um, really, it, it becomes like, and, and what happens is some listings, they're talking about something, but they never really show it. And, and I will talk about that a little bit later. But show it, do no more, no more than 20 photos for a private one bedroom apartment. Um, and if you're showing, if you're sharing um, a just the bedroom itself, 15 photos or so, okay? um oh peter oh yes no it, it changes it's not just to help guests interested but it also changes your ranking place it brings you up in the ranking because they have a verified photo yes so it does it just it adjusts your ranking okay also in your photos only show what you offer if it guess um if you if your guests cannot use the kitchen do not show the kitchen um there's somebody saying that you're off and they cannot hear me um anybody else say, can you guys hear me because kathleen is saying that she cannot hear me please confirm anybody can you hear me can you hear me now um i'm going to continue on thinking that you are could yes oh thanks all right so i guess peter hurt excuse me <clears throat> um so very important show photos of what you're offering do not show me a mercedes band if you're giving me a ford okay don't show me what i cannot use and it happened to me someone i stayed at a place i was going to be staying at a place in savannah georgia this past christmas um and he had this beautiful kitchen buried in the description was that we cannot use it so it's like please don't show it to me Okay, thank you everybody. I, I'm glad that everybody can hear me. I will continue. If you have a pet, please have a photo of him, of her on your, um, you cannot read my slides, Rebecca Morgan. I'm surprised. What about everybody else? Um, can anybody, can you guys see the, the presentation or no? I'm... Because it's saying that um, if you cannot see the chat posting, um, I don't know how your uh, webinar looks, the console, but you just have to click on chat and, and you could see the, the chat on it. All right. Um, all right, Kathleen, I'm glad that you can hear me now. All right. So going back to the presentation, because we have a lot to talk about, it's already 2.15. All right, so highlight your pad and display any unexpected features. If you have a spiral staircase, let your guests know. They are, you know, they are very important things that you guess, you don't want to surprise your guests. Like, oh my God, I, they cannot walk or they have some mobility issues and you have a staircase for their space. It is important that they don't have any surprises, okay? Also feature one or two things that are fun to do in your neighborhood. Um, over here we have Prosper Park, so I have a photo of the park. I also have a photo of the Brooklyn Bridge because that's something that tourists love to do. Um, so again, 20 pictures the most. Do not have more than that, all right, dear host? Do not overwhelm your guests with information, um, especially about photos, okay? So now your first photo, this is from one of the hosts here, and, and she allowed me to feature her, and her first photo was excellent. It's bright, it's colorful. Um, it's not the room, it's not the bedroom, so your first photo does not have to be your bedroom, but it's a pretty photo. It's inviting. It tells me a lot about the space, this art, this original art, there's a lot of colorful, it's really pretty, and your eyes drawn to it. So 
when a person as a guest is looking in their map and they're looking at the different, um, you know, and they're looking at different photos, it's great to have something with a little bit of color that pops up. It's inviting, okay? And I understand, Peter, that you show a kitchen table set for dinner and you're not implying that I provide dinner, but, and maybe you could use that in your caption and it's like, you could cook, I mean, if they could use the kitchen, then they could set up the, they could use the kitchen table, all right? Please, hamburger, not a hot dog. Horizontal photos, not vertical photos. Also, don't do 15 photos of the same thing. You have some beautiful outdoor space. Show one or two photos and that will be enough, okay? So hamburger, when you're talk, when taking photos, think hamburger, not hot dogs, okay? Captions, this is a very underused tool. Um, highlight a feature in each photo. Um, for example, this is a king size bed, which tons of guests talk about it. Um, she mentions it on the about listen, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute, but it's huge loss opportunity to say here, her, and this is her first photo. There's some issues that I have with it. It's not bright. It's not, I mean, it's bright in reference of light, but the color palette, it's not what you, what you, eyes go to is towards the floor because it has a little bit of red so your eyes goes there if she would have thrown a little bit of a color um on the bed spread um it will pop up a little bit more and she has other photos that are a little bit more interesting that will be your first photo remember your first photo will be adjusted by the side it gets changed it gets stretched and then once they click on it then they see the real photo um, so make sure that you play along with it, that you see it, and you see it in different, how you see it on an iPhone or an, on an iPad or, you know, mobile um, product versus a computer. We used to seeing our stuff in probably on a computer and your desktop, but, you know, they're not seen the same way in different um, items, okay? So make sure that you are careful about that and that you see it in the different mediums, all right? Be accurate as, on your captions. Keep them short and snappy. Do not write a whole description, 20 words on your captions. This is not the time for that. And have somebody proofread them, all right? So highlight a feature. Um, this particular host, and I was, again, thankful that for, for them to allow me to show them off, um, has a little bit too many photos, a little bit too much information, but not enough on the captions. Okay, next one. So this is Airbnb, this is from their actual site, um, and this is a before and after. And as you can see, it's the same room. Um, they chose to change the bedspread, which it doesn't feel as wrinkled as the other one, and they have a different setup of the, of the pillow. So you can see the difference on a professional photo from Airbnb versus you with your phone. Um, if you want, you also could tell the photographer not to use such a wide angle lens because you don't want to distort the room and you don't want to give some false information about the size of your room that is not true. And you see they, excuse me, they shot during the day. So they had this little bit of pretty light. Look at the light on the floor. So it highlights the wood floors. Um, they have an orchid that you could see. So it shows a little bit of, of, of a, a lot more of the bedroom and it looks a lot prettier. All right. So this is, again, and look at even just how they change the curtains so that they're a little bit lower. You, it's a beautiful setup for a room. And this is, one is a, photo, a photographer from Airbnb and one is somebody with a smartphone, all right? I don't know why my chat is not um, moving along. Um, do you guys, do you host have any questions about photography before we move in to the next, um, to the next topic? I don't know why it's not updating. Um, well, I'm going to continue because the chat is not being active and not moving. I, I'm just got my last comment here is Peter's comment. Um, well, you know, Chrissy, now you know for your next photographer. Um, and yes, have French flowers. Go all out. This is a huge opportunity for you to really, before your photographer comes in, set up the room. If, if you have a friend that has a good eye, look, I have a designer. I don't do this 
um, myself. And Airbnb will not reshoot for you, all right? Just to let you know, it will take about three years before they come back to your space. And they only shoot three listings. So if you have more than three listings, um, you have to be selective. What I have done in the past is one of my listings used to be my entire house. So I offer, I was like, oh, can you give me the, the entire house? And that was one of the shots, the one of the shoots that they did for me, which was really good. All right. Yes, they will shoot after three years, supposedly. Um, and I asked them once that they say yes. But again, remember, you don't own the photos. You don't own these photos. You cannot use them for your marketing. You cannot use them for your website. We will do a webinar about creating a website um, and things like that. But you do not own those photos. All right. So now let's talk about description. And in this, um, the next slides, we're going to talk about your first paragraph, what to say, how to say it how reviews help you creating your description. And uh, I have a huge list of adjectives and more adjectives, all right? So um, your description, once they do, they look at photos and then they're gonna actually look at reviews. That that's, has been my experience of the guests, how you look, it's you good look at photos and then you look at reviews and see how they, they're going and then you look at description, hopefully, because most people don't read. We all know that people do not read. That's why the captions are important. Highlight features on your captions, highlight issues. You don't want them smoking, make it there. It's, if it's huge, just put it on your captions, but put it small, short, and snappy, okay? So um, your description. Paint a descriptive picture and use vivid language, all right? And I'm gonna give you some samples of that. Um, also describe the neighborhood, the rooms, the house. No, you're not supposed to be seeing it. You're supposed to be seeing the slide, Marie. Um, you're going to be looking, you're also going to describe is how close is the train station? Are there supermarkets and tourist attractions that are nearby? Do you have an elevator? Do you have a wash and dryer? Can you guess use it? Do you stay in the outdoor area? And mind you, you this description, you are reinforcing the photographs that you showed. You have, an, you have a wash and dryer? Just took a little shot of that, okay? Um, so, Marie, I'm, I'm not understanding your question of Airbnb photographer or my own. Um, and also, in your description, is it a good space for families? Do you allow pets? Is it better for business for tra travelers? And also, any special house rules. I know you're going to talk about it in the special on your house rules as well, but this is also a good way to reinforce them, okay? So now, besides describing this, I'm going to tell you, your guest reviews can be a great source for description and headlines. Your guests will tell you what's important. And, and I have a couple of samples later on, but they will tell you, they'll, they'll give you the language and what they're looking for, okay? Um, keep the sentences short and so the paragraph because... Uh, you do not want to write a, a Bible here or a book. You want this to be concise and easy to read. My preference are bullet points or what I've done in some of my descriptions. If you go to my listings, I have like in capital letters a specific topic that I'm going to talk about like roommates or rates or, you know, things like that. So it's easier for them to glance at that subject that they want to talk. Remember Chip Collins' tip. List three things you guys will love and two things they will not. One of the examples that he gave was this place in Paris that he stayed at where he had amazing views, but it was a walk-up. Don't surprise your guest, okay? Because it will be noted on your reviews, all right? Um, in addition, proof read, have a friend read it as well. And then don't forget the about listed, the listed section. So this is what I'm talking about. And this is some, a sample from one of the hosts that I use her original um about this listing was the large bedroom sleeps two on a firm kin size bed hair dryer iron there should be some comments there bright quiet tv kitchenette refrigerator toaster microwave two blocks from subway many restaurants prosper park barclay center laundromat and amenities minimum three days this is was on her about to about this listing space, which is right below your photographs. And I hope you are all using that space. That is great real estate, okay? It's, it's, a, 
It's very small. You're limited in words, but it's great real estate for your guests to get a little bit of information. And this is what I wrote. Excuse me, I need water. Um, the life field air, airy bedroom in a Brooklyn brownstone is spacious for you and your traveling partner. So I'm already saying how bright, how spacious it is and everything else. I'm giving a, a feature that she does not mention, but reviews do. And they say, although oh, it is a four floor walk up, your body will thank you for selecting this comfortable, firm, king size bed. And I picked that from the reviews. The reviews mentioned that king size bed so many times that I felt it was important. I know that there's a fresh market on, on Prosper Park, so that's why I highlighted that. You could prepare your fresh market's food in your own private kitchenette. So like that, they know there's a kitchenette, they could prepare some food there. And then I'm letting them know how close to Manhattan it is. If Manhattan is where you need to go, a short 10 minute train ride will get you there. Brooklyn will capture your heart, enticing you with the many restaurants, shops, bars, and Prospect Park. You could have the best of both worlds. So letting everybody know it's close to the city, but we also have so many great things. This is what I wrote. Um, I haven't, I don't think she's seen it, and I don't know if she's uh, on the webinar right now, but this is what I wrote from her description to something a little bit more um, descriptive in vivid language and letting the guests know how it will be there, okay? So now, um, the next slide, these are adjectives, and this is, I'm gonna be, if you guys, if you are interested on the presentation, please let me know, and I will offer it and, and, and let you download it, because I have so much information here. So adjectives, so some of the nice adjectives are like breathtaking, captivating, dazzling, delightful, all right? So these are the adjectives that you could use in your description. Another one for luxurious is elegant, lush, majestic. It's refined. So if you have a very upscale, you know, one of a kind, brand new kitchen, you could use some of this. If, if your kitchen is, you know, chefs will, you know, or wannabe chefs will love it, you can mention this, okay? Some cozy adjectives I love, people love calling my home cozy, which for us, it makes, it makes us think that it's small, which is not, but other cozy adjectives are comfortable, idyllic, inviting, lovely, quaint, all right? Some peaceful adjectives, if you are in the, have the, if you are in the country, if your space is super quiet, then some of it are, Quiet, relaxing, remote, secluded is a little bit uh, because he has a, a negative connotation, but serene, tranquil, peaceful. All right. So, so those are adjectives that you could use. Then you could talk if you are in a busy neighborhood, it's cosmopolitan, it's bustling, it's trendy, it's urban. So, what kind of neighborhood are you? You could talk about it like this, where, where words are describing it and not just a list of things. All right. Um, and also some other adjectives are spacious, evocative, bright, is it, you know, vintage, is it period, is it original. Then this is a list of descriptions, and I got this from um, one of the resources that I'm sharing with you. Um, just the, what it says, the type of houses, the amenities, the locations, attractions, and suitable for, okay? So you could use some of this language for your description, all right? So another thing here is the next one. This is just uh, some of the online articles that I read, that I pulled some information. I'm providing them for you here, and they're clickable, so you have live links. Um, and this is some copywriters. I personally have not used a copywriter. You could tell my copy is not great, but it's there. Um, I'm actually want to change a couple of things in my copy, but you know how they, what they say is what is it that the, the the shoemaker wears holy shoes or something like that. All right, <laughs> moving on to headlines, all right, because I want to do get you some, some of your questions. Headlines, and headlines is what is your unique selling point of your home? What is a good unique selling point and what is not a good one? And I have some before and after samples, all right? So the one language that captures the interest of your guests. A unique selling point is, is it pet friendly? Is it family friendly? Is it steps to a particular tourist attraction? 
if you have a private bathroom, um, if you have a private bedroom listing and it has a private bathroom, that's your unique selling point. That should be on your headline, okay? It's really important because people, that trumps anything else, all right? Please do not put Wi-Fi on your headline. Do not put Wi-Fi on your about this listing and do not mention it on your first paragraph. Wi-Fi is a must, but you don't have to talk about it. You could mention it. Um, yes, thank you, Roger, for Shoemaker's Children Have Bad Shoes. Exactly. So my copy is not as great right now. Um, you do talk about Wi-Fi, and if you don't have Wi-Fi, you have to say that, okay? It is a big expectation, especially for tourists, to have Wi-Fi. It's a necessity. It's not a luxury anymore. All right? So... But do not mention that, oh, I have Wi-Fi or my Wi-Fi is super fast. No. Also, don't use abbreviations. This is a bad headline. Two-bedroom, two-bathroom, condo, unit number 317. Why will people know why unit 317? What is great about unit, unit 317? Does he have amazing views of the city? Does he have a balcony? Does he have, you know, something unique about the space, all right? Again, also, headline. Proofread them. Have a friend read them. You are going to doctor these headlines on and off through the years and through the months, you know, probably a couple of times a month. I mean, let's say, for example, if you live in an area that has the seasonality and you have different audiences that come in during the ski season or during the summer for hiking, your headline and your description would change accordingly. So my recommendation is save, excuse me, save headlines, save the work that you've done, so like that, you could go back to it and some stuff that you that you really like. All right. Now, um, so the samples of the headlines are a bad headline is a two bedroom to bathroom unit three seventeen, and a good one was luxury ska, ski chalet with a fireplace. So huge information is luxurious, has a fireplace. It's something that you could see yourself doing. All right. Um, another bad headline, San Francisco apartment. Instead, great views and then where it's near. So you have what you've seen, some, a couple of unique selling points, the views and location, all right? A couple of other ones, Disney apartment with balcony. Instead, if you could see the Disney fireworks, if you cannot see them, do not put that there. So watch Disney fireworks from your private balcony. So you have a privacy People love um, things like that. Yes, and, and Peter, you're saying, yeah, people have different languages. Um, we do call it a double bed or, or in our case, full-size bed. So what I would do is on your captions, you could say double bed or probably then the size of the bed. I know you guys tend to do that um, in the European countries. So, so you work for your countries and work for your tourists. Do you only get um, American tourists or do you get uh, foreigners and from overseas, right? A couple of other bad headlines, beach from apartment and then dolphins, seashells and perfect sunsets. Totally tells you a great experience that you're going to have. And this is coming from the vacation home rental website, all right? All of these this samples. Pet friendly apartment. Walk your dog on the beach, miles of sand. You could see yourself there. You could experience it, all right? And this is where I got some of some of this information. And Heather, Jennifer, and Kathleen, thank you so much for allowing me to talk about your listings. Um, everyone's headline. Um, and, and yeah, also. So, Wendy, I, I will try to use, you know, elevator and probably in parentheses, lift. So people know when you have different people. Um, you know, that you could talk to. So if you want to, you know, talk to me and connect, you're more than welcome. And, you know, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations for everybody. Uh, they are $95 an hour. If you, you know, I could give you some discounts and we could talk about it if you're interested. Um, I give tons and tons of materials from reviewing your description, reviewing your photos. If you have any, um, you want me to read all of you guys' headlines? <laughs> okay, really. We do we do we have the time to read everybody's um, headlines? We have thirty attendees right now in the conversation. So, um, 
it will mean give me the listings and then I could just look in and see. Uh, but yeah, do you have questions, Rome, dear host? I'm drinking a little water. Yes, exactly. Because, you know, with Charming Storybook Cottage, it says it's a cottage. I'm getting a cottage. So, I mean, is it possible that instead of private room, um, so you're using a little bit of, of the storybook cottage, room in storybook cottage, um, or something like that, so, so they know? I mean, because I like the Charming Storybook Cottage, and but I also understand exactly what you, what you mean, that you were getting some stuff that they were not really more than that. And they realized that it was just a private room. Um, and also in your captions, you should mention it. All right. So I hope that, you know, anybody else, you have any questions? We have a lot of attendees. All right. So Kay Kathy just gave me her listing so that I could. Um, yeah, the question is. Uh, yeah, so you have it. You have private room and a storybook cottage. Now, um, Katie, look at your first photo. It looks it's cut because he cuts it off. Um, you might need to. You might want to do a different photo because what I'm seeing as your first photo is basically concrete. I'm not seeing the pretty idyllic space because it's it's just a concrete. So you might want to change it to the second photo, which is your bedroom, just in case it's it it looks a little bit better. Um, now, okay, so this is a shared bath, so it's not, um, now you see how, how you have about two photos, and then I love the, bat, the, the space, I mean, you could even do photo number seven as your first photo, um, because when it gets cropped, it probably just looks, um, the beautiful flowers, so I imagine that they are allowed to use the the space and to have I don't see a piano you mentioned a piano here I will probably take a photo of a piano especially if they're allowed to use it are they allowed to use the dining room space um you know are they allowed to be all over the house and you see you have this hot dog photo of Christmas do you not have it if you have it um horizontal it will be better because it will give you better views okay so that's my comment for you, um, Katie. All right. Andrea, um, I'm talking about both. And the headline is your title. And what I spoke about before was only about this listing description, okay? Oh, my God. You are, all right, Andrea. Let me see. Urban Oasis. Oh, Andrea, I love your space. You have sent me your stuff. I, I basically did not have... You have changed your space so many times. It looks so beautiful. You've done such a wonderful job. Um, I like it. You see how you put a little bit of color you, by putting the your um, – now, you're saying urban assets. You have more words that you could probably use here. Um, so I will make sure urban assets entire apartment because it um, it is an entire space. And you could probably change about this listing um, a little bit better and, and create something a, a little bit more vivid um, instead of just giving a list of items, all right? All right, so let me just see. Oh, so all the spaces are shared, yes. Okay, Charming Rooming Historic Victorian. I'm just going through a couple. All right, your first photo, you need to change it, Cindy. Your first photo is bad, all right? I'm seeing the inside of, of a fireplace, and um, first of all, it's, it's a vertical photo, so you need to change that to horizontal, and it's also, um, a, it's not an inviting photo, so your first photo needs to be inviting. Um, you know, what is charming about your house? Take the photo number six, which is the front of your photo of your house, Crop the bottom and make that your first photo because you show the historic, the Victorian house, the Victorian look of your home, all right? Some of your photos are vertical. Please retake them and use, and use horizontals um, so, and light them up as much as possible, 
okay if you're um you know so so that will be my recommendation definitely your your first photo needs to change cindy that was cindy all right uh, let me see what what who am i up to susan and oh my god this is beautiful downtown city living at its best oh you have 70 reviews look at you you're like amazing you're a great host this is a beautiful photo it's a great kitchen um i imagine that your guests can use the kitchen i hope since you are prominently showing it um and you know again you have some vertical images please change them horizontal um because look what we what you're saying what you're showing is the clause i mean the and let me just let me see if i could share this screen so like that you see this um hold on one second the audience can see this hold on love 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 okay all right let me share this all right so if you notice the what you're seeing mostly is ceiling um yeah i'm sorry now i did it i did it marcus i did it i'm sorry um i i you know you, you learn so you see you're not giving me new information you're seeing ceiling which is not the greatest things to show but your first photo is a beautiful kitchen i want to make sure can i use the kitchen really i mean how great is it Do, if you have your own private bathroom then you need to say that in your headline everybody wants a private bathroom that is a huge huge thing okay all right let me see who else is um to, to you need to do notes to all these things that were the matter as the electric i'm confused andrea are you talking about the title or the show description all right so let me check out peter's oh peter's i love your space that's you i knew it was you oh i love your home i want to stay there i actually i'm going to um paris i am actually going to be one of your educators and i'm going to do a little rendezvous outside of paris um part of the trip so this is um peter's amazing home it is a clock tower um, in London, and it's one of the best um, Airbnb places at all. Um, you have a good picture, but again, you know what happens is because it gets cropped, you see in a lot of the the, the street, and you're not seeing the grandeurs, and you're seeing this girl's bag um, of the clock tower. Um, again, you have a vertical photo, but you know, and mind you, this is your photos. Um, and and i love your space i really do love it i love this this photo um it is so beautiful um it's such a beautiful space it's, it's just gorgeous peter i love it um oh rebecca morgan you're speaking in i'm seeing lots of typos I have an english major go over your description i'm gonna say I have i have a great copy editor if you guys want to get her name um and and she's fantastic and she's not expensive at all she's about thirty dollars an hour um and she could just even go through your copy if your english is not your first language look english is not my first language so i do have somebody i have a few people go through my copy for everything um all right so so this is a great listing he has great stuff he does have um i feel that the front because um look at how airbnb shows you for photos at the beginning um i mean and i think photo number four which is the stair you have this other grandiose photo which is um oh my god what is it and and of course you have 23 photos because you have an amazing space it's really just fa fabulous i think this photo could go up further um first in your in your um in your <laughs> in your listing and also i imagine that you say somewhere look you're not using your captions it just says clock tower how many stairs do they have to go 
to the to the clock tower to go up ahead, you know, all the way up to the to the bedrooms. I hope you're letting them know somewhere. I mean, you have over 200 listings, Peter. I know you. What you're doing is is great. Um, I will not be able to go through all of you guys' listings. I'm so sorry, but you're more than welcome to contact me and hire me, and and I will do a lot of in-depth um, conversation. We could talk about a lot of different things, and you know, if you have questions, really, please. Um, uh, let me, you know, please. Um, please let me know. And so like that, we could just talk. Um, this is taking, I have a bathroom down by a hole that I don't use, but I'm not sure if I could call it. Yes. If uh, Cindy, if your, um, if your guest has a private bathroom that even it does not have to be in suite, it could be down the hall, but it's the only their bathroom. Yes. It's a private bathroom. Okay. Anybody else, anybody else has questions? And I'm sorry, I'm going to drink water again. Um, I was thinking about Sam. I don't understand. Yes. Anybody else has any questions? Rebecca, thank you again. Um, I'm trying to see all the questions here. Peter, I will keep in mind about going to London. I'm really what I love London. It's one of my favorite cities. Yes, Marie, uh, you know, the, the problem with removing photos, it's unfortunately, if they're verified photos, once you remove them, you cannot, it's harder to get them back because you will have to contact Airbnb. It's not like they come down to your, to your drive. Um, what I have done in the past is that I do a screen, a screen grab and I take them. So I use, I do take all of the photos. All right. Um, so. Let me see. Sam is talking about something that he hates. Let me just look at Sam's that she hates. Sorry, Sam, for calling you a male name. Um, um let me share that listing. Hold on one second. This it just takes me a minute. I'm so glad you're here. Hold on. I'm sorry. It's it's you know, it's Okay. All right. So you hate the second photo. Um, is it because you see a little bit of the ceiling? I know they go, sometimes they do this, this whole thing. Um, why can I move? I'm sorry. I'm having troubles. It's not taking me to, oh, uh, this is a beautiful photo. This is actually pretty good. Oh God, I don't know what what is happening, but it's not letting me do. It's not a bad photo, um, and you could change the order. Remember that, okay? So please know that you could change the the order. Um, yes, if your description, if your photos, please be accurate. Please only talk about what you have. If you don't have it, you do not offer it. Um. I don't know why your accuracy rating is not good. Um, what is it that you're not offering or what is it that, no, the, the first photo does not have to be the bed. Um, it could be if you're near something or if you have an amazing backyard and the guests have access to it, if the guests can use it, yes, then use that photo as your first photo, you know, the backyard beautifully done and all of that, okay? Um, so Catherine, how, how do you change your, Oh, I'm sorry, Sam. It's really not a bad, bad listing. It's actually really pretty. It looks really clean and very, um, and I'm, I'm sorry I'm not showing more photos. It's just that the site is not allowing me. Um, it's just doing something funky. Um, and, and remember, just if you use other photos, if you hire a photographer, keep one verified photo. Just keep one. Um, and you could put it towards the back or you could put it, you know, if you don't like them, you could hire off uh, photographers. Um, you could look through Google for local photographers. Um, they could be expensive or not. It depends. Um, talk to in your community and stuff like that. So, you know, hopefully everything will work out for you guys. Um, if you have any other questions, I just want to say thank you so much. Really. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me and, and talking about this. 
Um, there's always so much information that we could give you and provide, and, and it is my honor to, to be of service. I really love making you and, and, and answering your questions, making you a better host. Um, it, is, it is a learning experience. We keep learning every single day with every single guest. All right. Um, yeah, if, if your photographer took artsy pictures that are not true to the space or they're a little distorted. And also, you know, I saw some photos from somebody that she had a lot of photos of, of, of the art. And it's like, yeah, it's great. One, one photo of the art. But don't you don't have to do 20, all right? Don't overwhelm the guests, all right? All right, so thank you very much, everybody. I will see you next month one more time. We made it by the skin of our teeth in July. I try to do um, a webinar every single month. This webinar will be available for replay as well, and I will probably do a big blog post. Um, I will probably divide it a couple of things because there's so much more information in each chapter between descriptions and photos and, and all of that. So thank you. It is my pleasure being here, and it's my pleasure hosting you. If you want to, uh, for me to review your listing and everything else, please hire me, evelynpedia.com. And like always, I'm here for you. All right? Thank you.